Hi there. This is Chris from Money Hub, and this video overviews how to use your Wise Travel Money Card when you're overseas uh, for making conversions and just general management of it. Few people have written in saying, fine, how do I use this Wise Card? How does it work? So I thought I'd just run through an example of how I use it, and then you can get some ideas from there and just see how simple it is. And then if you have any questions, do leave them down below and I'll answer them. Uh, so first up, you know, currently I'm traveling uh, through the US. So there's been some US transactions. And then what I've done is I've got a few wallets. So I've got some in US dollars, I've got some in euros, and then of course I've funded that from my New Zealand dollar account. Uh, so what I've done there is I just transfer money from I'm with a bank within New Zealand, and then I just put that straight through into the bank account number for WISE which is my own one with a unique reference, that then comes through at 100% of the rate, so they don't take anything off that. So I funded uh, yesterday, or this morning, sorry, 1599.60, and now I'm going to convert that into currencies, which I'm going to be using. So if I do this here, then I click on that, and then what I'll do, so you can see that that was added, so I'm going to push convert, and I'm going to be like, right, what do I want to convert? I want to convert some into US dollars. So I'm just going to do a small amount. I think I want $50. Normally I'd do a lot more, but I'm actually flying out tomorrow. Um, and I've got some cash on me. Uh, so that is what I will uh, convert. And if I need some more, then, uh, you know, I can use the New Zealand dollars balance here. And that's no problem. So what you'll see here is you'll see the live rate and you'll see their fee. Now that fee is kind of... It's incremental on whatever you do. So that if, if I do 500, that should be $3.60 or something very close, $3.57. And if I do five, it should be, you know, much smaller. It should be about four cents. So you're not being charged, uh, you know, a fixed fee per transfer. And then if I did a comparison here, if I did what's the New Zealand dollar to US rate now, like the live rate, uh, which is that, then I could see it's 0.62. And that's pretty close to 0.617, but that's, of course that's rounded. So if you did a one day rate, then you'd see here it's about, pretty much the median is around, I mean it's saying 0.62 because it rounds, uh, but if I go into a, like a proper exchange, then you can see here the rate is 0 0.69, uh, 169, sorry, 6169, and that's pretty much that right there. If, if anything, it's the same or slightly higher on WISE. This is the bank rate. This is the best rate you can get. Uh, so um, so the mid-market rate. So that's very, very strong. Whereas other um, tools, if we just did that as a background, um, so if I just did the TravelX money card for New Zealand, and I'll just show you. And I think this is just worthwhile to point out, um, not to try and promote the card any further, uh, the wise card, but it's just it's just worth noticing um, what the card you, uh, would be. So if I wanted to top up for US dollars, and I want to do um, so, I'll just do 500s because you can see the rate. Um, you can so you can actually see the rate there is 0.5967, which is much lower than 0.617. So, and it's the same with the other travel money cards. It's very low as well. So let's just do this. Let's just get $50 in this account. And I'm going to push continue. So I'm happy that that's going to cost me $81.40. And then it, it gives you like a quick conversion. Sorry, a quick summary. And then like, yep, that's fine. And that means I get a great exchange rate. And it's locked in now. So my account, if I look at this, so that's left my New Zealand, um, it's, it's left my New Zealand dollars, and then I can see now it's topped up to 79, which is great. So if I then want to, so it, it's instant as well, there's no mucking around waiting. So if I want to do now back for some euros, um, let me just do uh, 50 euros, and we can see the exchange rate here is 0 0.6067, and if I convert that back to euros, which I'll just do quickly here on the mid rate, so that's 0 0.6067, and that's of course is pretty much in line with 
this, so that's great. And then if I wanted to compare that to Travelex, just as an example for reference, it would be 0.5781. So it's two, it's about three cents lower, three euro cents lower um, than what you'll get with uh, Wise. So that's really, really noticeable. And of course, you're paying a lot more every t every time you transfer money or convert money or just pay for stuff. So I get my summary there once more and I push convert and you can see that's all done. So that's straight away that happens, which is great. And then of course it tops up there. Now, if I want to send someone money so I can still use this, you know, as a, as a bank account, um, you shouldn't probably be doing that. Uh, like most likely you'll be using your, current bank account uh, when you're traveling, but if you did want to send someone some money and you had some leftover money, that's what it's that's what it's used for. So if, so if you decide, oh, I'm not going to be traveling for the next year or so, plus I've got, um, you know, $500 left or even $5 left, whatever, then you can push send and you can choose a bank account to get that paid into. And uh, that's great. Um, and there's no ongoing fees for WISE. So you don't, you know, it's not like other cards or some other cards which will charge you a monthly fee. So you can just leave it in there, um, but and then and then you don't have to worry about using it for a transaction or trying to, you know, make a transaction that value or something complicated like that. You just get it all out of there, and no problem. But lots of people leave it in because they'll just top it up next time they go, and you know, there's no hassle there. Uh, yeah, so that's really the summary. So you'll be able to convert, and uh, you know, what happens also is that if you're overseas you know, and you don't have enough money in your wallet, then it's just going to come out of your New Zealand dollars account, assuming that there's money in there. When that happens, when that happens, you'll get a summary uh, within New Zealand dollars. But if I look at this, because I was in Switzerland, um, then I can see that the francs were 65 francs. That was the market rate of the day at the time, sorry. And then they took out that and they added on their small a little margin fee. And then that's how much was that's how much uh, was actually converted, and so that really is, and it, it it just shows you the location, shows you the time. That's also in New Zealand time, and then how you how it was paid for. Um, so it was chip, it was chip and pen. So you can see that for other transactions as well. You can see that it was two dollars spent at car four, and uh, what was the deal with that? So that was in that was in euros, and that would have been in. Uh, that would have been in France. And so, yeah, so that's sort of more or less how that works. It's very, very simple. There I was charged one cent uh, for the conversion fee. And, uh, you know, and that's the, that was the exchange rate then. So it's very, very straightforward. You can always get tracking of everything. Once you've installed the app, then these payments, uh, you know, come up, you know, when, whenever you make a transaction. So you'll be able to see that you've just spent, you know, either the currency if you've spent say two euros and it's been paid for with euros, that will show up. Otherwise, it'll come up in New Zealand dollars. The Wise card, you don't like. You don't need to fund the currency like in advance. So I'm quite happy sometimes just leaving it within New Zealand dollars, knowing that you know, okay, the rates like New Zealand dollars fine for me right now. I'll take the risk. It might go up. It might go down. But you know, then I don't have to think. Oh, what's the rate doing? Should should I convert it? This just brings it out at a really nice. Um, um, you know, nice and easy. And then I'm actually dealing with, with New Zealand dollars, knowing that, you know, I'm getting the best possible exchange rate at the time. Uh, plus the fees are very low. Other cards, uh, will charge you up to 5.95%. So around 6% of that transaction, because they'll say, Oh, you didn't load it with euros. or you didn't load it with Swiss francs. You spent with uh, Swiss francs or euros. So we're taking 6% of that transaction as a penalty fee. And, uh, which to me is pretty crazy, um, but that's not something that you know the Wise Card does, nor would it do, and so that's why it becomes even cheaper. So that's a summary there. So as I say, if you do have any questions, let me know. Uh, they can just uh, write to us or leave uh, some comment down below, and we'll reply to that. Um, but that is a, just a good summary of how to use the Wise Card, and I hope it's been helpful. And uh, the best thing you can integrate it to uh, Google and to Apple Pay, uh, so you're also protected there. And then if you do uh, lose the card or anything happens to it, then you've got a backup and you just close. You can also close the card or freeze the card on the app as well. So there's lots of uh, positive things 
uh, there's lots of positive things about the card, uh, but the best thing for, for from what I see is the exchange rates just being so strong and the fees being so low. Uh, so thanks for watching.